I, 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 I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm Try this again Okay, well, for the information, Dara Pity Pine Forest in 1940, 14 South Dakota chapters of the Daughters of the American Revolution, or DAR contributed funds for the planting of 18,000 ponderosa penny pines in a 23-acre tract along the west side of Highway 85, about four and a half miles from Deadwood on the road to Spearfish. Penny pines, so named for the cost of one penny apiece, were planted by the Black Hills National Forest in conjunction with the Civilian Conservation Corps, or CCC. The planting commemorated the Golden Jubilee of the National Society DAR, the 50th anniversary of its founding, in 1939, Dar's President General, Mrs. Henry M. Robert, chose the Penny Pine Program to help the National Forest recover from overharvesting, devastating fires, and little replanting. Margaret Marchmount, the Ambassador of Trees, envisioned a nation of healthy trees and was credited with inspiring the National Society DAR to plant some 5 million seedlings Ooh. in 36 states and the District of Columbia. This marker is a replacement of the original marker uh, put in in 1940, uh, funded in 2017 by the Mary Chilton Dar Foundation. Huh. So part of the wonderful CCC organization that uh, was going on during the 1930s, and this is one of their little pet projects. Uh, Up and Rapid, uh, several other programs using the CCC, uh, they, they would find unique tasks for people, uh, things like uh, building walls, uh, constructing fire towers, uh, sometimes things as simple as chopping wood, uh, you know, learning trades that uh, help get people going from the unemployment of the Great Depression to getting our economy ready uh, right before World War II started getting really uh, underway. But there's also a museum for the CCC over by Hill City. We see it as we drive into the town. Sometime we're going to stop by and uh, see what it looks like when it's open. So far, every time we've gone by it, it's been closed. So You can open it at the end of the month like most museums. Yeah, it's a little uh, snapshot of history. It's kind of cool. I didn't realize it was up here. <gasps> Something Joe didn't know. Ooh. Do you believe it? Maybe. You're the one that knows me. <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> but, uh, so, on we go down the, uh, 85. On we go. In the direction of Spearfish. Hang on. A... There you are. There you are. There you are. <laughs> we doing good? No. Cool. Uh, it says the goddess Artemis, uh, is known for, uh, wild animals. It's the only thing that came up other than, um... God's deities of the uh, Turkic uh, pantheon. <laughs> That's how they uh, wrote it here. Um, but yeah, um, fucking Artemis again, as always. I wouldn't be surprised if Artemis was here, honestly. She's the goddess of the hunt and fertility and, and wild stuff, so. It makes sense, kind of. Yeah. How do we go? Well, this here is the Preacher Smith Monument, our uh, happy little pillar here. Uh, as it was, Preacher Smith was kind of an interesting fellow. Uh, he would walk up and down uh, Deadwood's main streets and back in the day. It wasn't exactly a place that a uh, preacher would be well known for. Uh, but, you know, he would do his best to try to spread the word of uh, the Lord and stuff like that. Uh, sadly, his uh, demise came... Uh, a couple of years later, uh, he was found, uh, some differing opinions, some say that he was killed by uh, Native Americans, others says he was killed by uh, some miners who weren't exactly keen. Um, interestingly enough, he was buried uh, up in one site until the uh, <coughs> vandals desecrated the graveside. Now he's uh, one of the residents of Mount Moriah up uh, in Deadwood. Uh, but they still have his uh, monument over here. I'll uh, roll the car forward just a touch. <clears throat> of course, there's also some uh, show you how well the legend uh, has traversed. When I was a kid, uh, they said that he was found uh, with his back to a tree, the Bible open in front of him, like he was simply praying, but he was dead. 
uh, now they uh, talk about that the Bible is uh, unopened next to him and uh, there were notes that were uh, covered in his blood but uh, this was the pioneer monument for Preacher Smith where uh, located actually north of Deadwood on the road that goes from Deadwood up to Spearfish uh, also at the northern end of this road is a pioneer uh, area. There's some turkeys way over here, right along the horizon. I see them. Yeah, there's like about eight of them for the goose. Turkey day. Uh, just on the other side of the hill. Now they're over there by the tree. There they are. There they are. We see a lot of animals today. Turkeys, deer. All sorts of animals over by lead. Now the turkeys are making their migration over here, apparently. Lord Loki sent me like 10 fucking <laughs> dogs today. Who sends turkeys? Who sends turkeys? Don't fucking look at me. <laughs> I know Lord Loki sends me uh, dogs, because he's kind of connected to them with wolves, since his son is a wolf. But, um... Mm -hmm. You're going to have to look up who says turkeys. Yeah, because there's a lot of turkeys, wild turkeys out well, here. Typically, I have like a... There they go a again. Now they're starting to migrate off to the uh, off to the left there. Let me see if I can find out. There's also some big birds there, too. Yeah. Flopping what around. What is connected to turkeys? But on we go with our drive to the north. Uh, we what? do know there's a cemetery up above here, too. So I might take a poke and see if we can't find the road that leads over to that. Also, the back road to Crook City is up here, I discovered. So... If we're really ambitious, maybe we'll take that road that leads back over by Whitewood. Someday we need to go up and see the Bridal uh, Vale Falls. Vale Falls. Yeah, we drove past it once, but... Okay, okay. As I was saying... Oh, history. Just... <laughs> Wait. All right. Ready? Here we go. Shout out time. Here's a shout out just for you. You support me, so I support you. This shout out is for our friends, Afromet family. They are an afro mix family, obviously. <laughs> They're an international couple, a blend of Mexico and Cameroon, living in the United States. Uh, their names are Christian Vernell and their children Leo and Yana. Yeah, I apologize, I'm terrible with names. Um, they have a very fun channel. They do all kinds of things. Um, so check them out, like, share, comment, let them know we sent you by. Have a good day. Now, each, these are each different, and and the libraries have them, but they're family stories of our, our members. And so if you happen to have ancestors that might have been here, here's, here's them. We've been all over Meade County in the car for the last two straight years. <laughs> going to cemeteries, graveyards. Uh, Ghost towns, ruins. So, oh, good for you. Yeah, it's like homework. <laughs> well, good, good. Yeah, they're and relatives there. Probably some listed in there. I know at least some of his will be. They won't let you check them out, but you can look them. Yeah, but you can look them. Membership is comprised of direct descendants, spouses, children, and those who came to the church prior to the time. I'd have to look up and see when mine came. What's the name? Uh, <laughs> or is it be James? James and Simbach. I know I have some relatives right here, but I don't know if they go that far back. We're kind of a wild group. I know we're related to, to, direct, to Jesse indirectly, but I don't know if they were My up husband's, here. One of his wives was uh, a James. Ah, interesting. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we went to one of the weddings once up in the hills, and they came out of the woods in their black coats. Here, Andrew, you can have a new hobby. Can you collect political buttons? Yeah, I don't know why. Oh. 
You guys are going to be spinning because I apparently was holding the phone upside down because the numbers were upside down. I'm dyslexic, so upside down doesn't bother me. I apologize, guys. I'm not tired. <laughs> I saw that thought that said bird court instead of count. Be more interesting. You are charged with pooping on the mayor's car. Soap Suds Road. Soap Suds Road. That's really what they named it. It's apparently a structure along Highway 34. I wonder if Ted knows where that's at. Yeah, he probably does. Think we'll go there? Is that a no? <laughs> uh, I know both of you by now. Fort Meade Target? I didn't know about this. We've been to Fort Meade, so I, I wonder if Dan doesn't know about that one. Yeah. I don't remember him like pointing it out. We'll have to wait until he decides he wants to catch up. It might be a minute. Here, here, I'll do the trick. I bet $50 he won't be here within the next 10 minutes. Pause this since we're just recording. I mean, babes. Did yeah. you know about that? Yeah. And that? Because I think we've been near that, but we actually haven't, like, been to that. Yeah, we have not been to it yet. Um because they're showing Fort Meade, and this is actually on the other side of the road. So it's we, over by the school, not by Fort Meade uh, General. Because see, Fort Meade's down here. I have no idea what you're talking about, other than we haven't been there. No, we have not. Is can, it because of construction, or we just haven't gotten there yet? I haven't gotten there yet. Okay, that's fine. High noon. Do not touch. Do not touch. Bobby Lee photo collection. Cool. Old Fort Meade Museum. Where's the new Fort Meade Museum? We have been there. If you haven't seen it, look it up. It's fun. Actually, I don't think I posted it yet, but I will have after um, this video or before this video. Do you have any questions about Fort Meade? We've been there. Okay. I was trying to make. I was trying to remember if it was the one we've been to because it says Old Fort Meade. I was like, well, where's the new one? Did we go to the old <laughs> well, one or the new we, one? We refer to the museum. We call it Old Fort Meade yeah. Museum. Yeah. We. It was funny. We were there off season and it was closed so we went yeah. when it was on season so we got in to go walk around all three floors so yeah. it was a long time. it was a beautiful museum very very nice I was just thrown off by the name because I didn't notice that it was called Old Fort Me when we yeah. went yeah <laughs> we, we talk about the history of Fort Me yeah it was a very cool museum we, did, we did very much enjoyed the the tour and walk around yeah, he enjoyed it frustrated because there wasn't enough females in it, but I, I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> We've seen that as well. And we've been here. Oh, Jerry will be here for a while. Welcome to a West River history. 
Interesting. Back in the day that we had